In this video, I'll show you three creative ways to use the Morph Transition in PowerPoint to elevate your next presentation. I'm using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, so without further ado, let's get started. And for the first one, we're going to start inserting an image that takes the whole area of the slide like this. I got this one from onsplash.com. They have a big library of images, so you can check that out. And then you're gonna insert a rectangle from the shapes panel like this. And we're gonna make sure that it covers the whole area of the slide and it goes over at the top like this. Amazing. So now you're gonna right click on the rectangle and then you're gonna go to edit points. You're gonna click once on this point over here. And then you're gonna drag down this white handle like this. You can also drag it to the left or to the right to create a different wave variation. And once you have something like this, then you're gonna insert a text box. So just click on text box and add it right here on this area. Let's make sure to center align the text and also to change the text to align to the middle. And I'll be using a font called Futura Extra Black Condensed for this one and the next projects in this video. And then just type in a number for the font size. I put in 260, so it's a very large font. And I'm just gonna write my word, which in this case will be Hawaii. Amazing, now holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select the shape that you did first and then the text. And then you're gonna go to shape format here at the top, then go to merge shapes and click on combine. And that's how easy you can create a mask in PowerPoint. Now I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm also gonna change the color of the field to black. And now on this area at the top is where we're gonna add our content. So I just put in a couple of text boxes and a couple of icons. And now you're gonna select the slide and duplicate it with Ctrl D on your keyboard. And on this slide, we're just gonna take all of the elements down except for the image. So holding shift on your keyboard, you can select multiple objects and I'm just gonna drag everything down like this. I'll also make the image slightly larger. So I'll just select it and holding Ctrl and Alt on my keyboard, I'm gonna make it just slightly larger. This will give it a very cool cinematic effect. And lastly, what you need to do is obviously select the second slide, go to transitions and apply morph. And the first creative way to use morph in your presentations is done. Now guys, you always ask me how to create cool designs when you feel like you have no inspiration or creativity. I have to share a secret tool that's been super helpful for this. The website is called Kittle.com and it's incredibly easy to use. On the homepage, you'll see a bunch of images, but you can also use the search bar if you're looking for something specific. They have a huge library of designs to choose from. And the cool thing is that once you click on any of them, all the elements will become editable. This is amazing because it means you can copy, paste and edit them for your own designs without needing to download or install anything externally. So once you select one, it will be added as an artboard in your workspace. However, if you click on the artboard icon right here, you'll be able to create a new one. For a presentation, for example, you just need to change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let's say you need to create a title slide for your presentation. Simply start copying and pasting elements from the reference design into the new canvas. If you like, you can also edit the text and everything will keep the same formatting it already has. I'm making a presentation about space expeditions and I think this layout could really use an image. In the shape section on the left there's an option for masks. Just select one and drag it to your canvas. To add an image you can upload your own or go to the image panel right here and search for one you like. They have a big library of images for you to use. Then simply drag it into the image placeholder and that's it. Of course you can edit the colors of every single element in your artboard. Simply click on the artboard's name and in this panel right here you can click on each color and choose a different one or if you prefer just click on browse color palettes and select one from the options to quickly change the colors of the whole composition i think adding a texture will really enhance this design so click on the texture icons here and select one this looks insane and it only took about five minutes to make finally just click on download save it as an image and add it to your slides and that's it they offer a free plan that lets you work on up to 20 projects and they also have pay plans starting at $10 a month with features like commercial licenses and advanced AI tools. I'll leave the link in the description box below along with a code to get 25% off any paid plan. Thank you Kittle.com for partnering with me on this video.
All right, so let's move on to our second creative way to use Morph in PowerPoint. So you can start by changing the background color of the slide. I just pick a gradient field, but you can select any color that you like. These are the settings that I'm using for this particular gradient. And then you're going to insert a rectangle from the shapes panel. Let's make sure that it covers the whole area of the slide like this. Let's go to the shapes panel again. And here you're going to select this wavy line over here. And you only need to click once and then you can start creating an abstract shape. So just click every time that you want to create a new point and just move your mouse around to create this wave effect. And to close it, you only need to go back to your first point and that's it. Now you're going to select everything and then go to merge shapes and click on fragment. Next, we're just going to select the excess of the shape from the gray area and just delete it with your delete key on your keyboard. And here we're going to get rid of the outline and also change the shape feel to whatever color you like. I picked a dark green. And on the right hand side is where we're going to add our content. Let's bring in a few PNGs. I got these ones from Google Images and I'm just going to place them on the slide like this. And then I'll move the right shape to the right like this. And for the other one, I'm just going to right click on it first and then click on bring to front. And now you can move it to the left like this. Perfect. So now you're going to click on the slide duplicated with control D. And then on this slide, we're going to make a few changes. We're going to bring all the images down like this. We're going to close the gap that we have on the middle like this. Just bringing all of the pieces together again. I'll move this text outside of the slide to the gray area like this. And for our title, we're just going to put it on the middle of the slide and increase the font size. Make sure that this one is the first slide in your presentation. And now you're just going to click on the second slide, go to transitions and apply morph. And the second creative way to use morph in your presentations is done. And for the last one, I'm going to start by inserting a circle on this corner over here. And then I'm going to start adding some images. In this case, I got these PNGs from Adobe Stock. This is obviously an example. You can use whatever images that you like. Just make sure to add one after the other, starting from the right edge of the slide to the left. And also make sure that the next image is slightly larger than the previous one. The last image that you add to the slide is the one that's going to be highlighted in this particular slide. So in my case, it will be this one, which is Han Solo. And I'm just going to make sure that it's larger in comparison to the rest of the images. OK, so next you're going to right click on the second image from left to right and then click on Format Picture. And then you're going to click on artistic effects over here and let's add the blur artistic effect, which is this one right here. Let's increase the radius. So just drag this handle all the way to the right to 100%. And you're going to repeat the process with the images that you don't want to highlight in this slide, which in my case are these two. OK, perfect. So now you're going to select this slide and duplicate it with Control D. And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see better. But essentially, I'm going to drag this image to the gray area like this, and I'm going to make it slightly larger. Now I'll move the other images to the following position. So now Princess Leia is going to replace the position of Han Solo and so on and so forth. And now we're going to revert the effect on the image that we want to highlight, which in this case will be Princess Leia. So right click on the image, click on format picture. And here just click on the first artistic effect to revert the blur effect that we have. And after repeating the process on every single slide, then the last thing that we need to do is obviously to add our content. Here I just added some text to the left of the image and I also created this fun logo. I actually used an online Lego logo generator. And finally, of course, what you need to do is to select all the slides holding shift on your keyboard, go to transitions and apply morph. And there you go, guys. That's three creative ways to use Morph for your next presentation. Remember that you can download all these slides from my website. The link is in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you on my next video.